Alright YouTube, I'm just about to show you guys my epic German National Deutsche Fußball Bund soccer jersey collection. I hope you all enjoy. It's just cleaning out my closet and I thought I would share. Anyways, first jersey here is a recent Adidas remake jersey. It's kind of a throwback shirt. They made it with uh, the epic number five Franz Beckenbauer on the back and uh, the raised flock like the old shirts that is always quite nice. I believe they also made this shirt in a white but uh, I was a big fan of the old school away green. Next shirt. This isn't a German national shirt, this is a League 3 team of the hometown where my family is from in Germany, Koplands. This is a TUS Koplands shirt. It's actually a player issue shirt. This is a shirt that I believe was match worn uh, by the player Sakalo, number 21. Official numbers. TUS Koplands. This here is a very rare, hard to find shirt. I believe this is from the 2012 team. This is the goalie shirt, and this is player issue. This is tech fit. You can see the power web up and down the shirt. Also, the DFB logo. The Adidas is not stitched, it's kind of like a hard plastic. With the official player issue size, which would be a so I forgot to focus a little bit. Size 10. Whereas most of the fan issue shirts are small, medium, large, extra large. Size 10, I think, would be an extra large. But yeah, player issue tech fit shirt. So you can see the difference. This is a um, Clima Cool version, which is the fan version. Still very hard to get. Has the official number one on it. As you can see, the stitching is actually stitched and the size would be a size medium consistent with all the fan shirts that they sell, the replica shirts and uh, there you go number one goalkeeper in the world right now, Manuel Neuer yeah. my opinion the second best, oh, I don't know it's hard to say who the best German goalkeeper of all time was some would say Neuer, some would say Oliver Kahn, some would say Sepp Meyer. Anyways, beautiful shirt. This here is a player issue training shirt. The four motion. Size large. Anyways, this is kind of pressed on. That's pressed on, but yeah, it's a player issue. This here is a player issue shirt from I believe the 2008 team that played in the Euro Cup went to the finals, lost to Spain unfortunately. This is a brand new shirt, has never been worn. See, it says DFB home jersey P, player issue. You can see that code there? Yeah, that's the real deal, boys and girls. Now that fake Asian crap. Yeah, if, just for interest's sake, just so everybody knows. This is a fake Asian shirt. I bought it off of eBay. I didn't know it was fake until it came in. If you ever get a shirt, like it looks official, it has the Adidas tag on it with the DFB logo on it. Very well made, has like the patches on it and stuff like that, but that's what tells you right there if it's fake or not. You see how it says Adidas jersey? That is not a real coding system. You see that UPC code at the bottom, 4050267106294? Yep, if you were to Google that, it would say that it's a Real Madrid shirt, which does not match up. So, it's a fake shirt. I, don't know. I think they should arrest those people and kick them off of eBay when they sell this crap. It's copyright infringement, and real supporters don't wear fake stuff. Anyways. Back to the goodies. Yeah, this shirt was never personalized or anything like that. And uh, the the uh, stripes on it are pressed on. The Adidas logo is pressed on. That's embroidered though. 
and uh, it's kind of this period thing here is kind of like a two panel breathable kind of layer that they have here they had on the four motion shirts of this year the fan issue shirts are a little bit different but uh, yeah, I was really happy when I got this one next player issue tech fit 2012 shirt actually I think this one was yeah it's 2012 uh, personalized with uh, Mazut Ozil this is the player issue tech fit shirt you can see it with kind of like the power webbing there on the bottom of the shirt also the power webbing over here For whatever reason the stripes kind of on the home shirts uh, I've heard of this issue happening where it kind of bleeds into the power wet manding whatever it's got the real deal mezut ozo thick lettering mezut ozo is a superstar I think the British press are a little bit too hard on them if uh, Arsenal and their fans don't want Mesut Ozil, we'll take him over at Bayern Munich, that's for sure. Next shirt. This is a 2002 away player issue shirt. Yes, this is the Climacool. Climacool. Whereas the fan issue stuff was Climalite. Stuff is two layers, as you can see. It's a two layered shirt. Very light, very breathable. Official Mercedes-Benz sponsor. You don't really get that with uh, the fan stuff. And on the back there, Mercedes-Benz. Official sponsor for the German national team. Uh, sometimes people say this is a practice shirt. This was actually like their away shirt, but they wore these shirts in practices with the logos on it, so... I'm not sure if you consider this a practice shirt or the actual away shirt. I call it the away shirt. This was the first year that uh, Germany kind of uh, shied away from the classic green, that ugly seafoam green color that they used for a couple years in the 90s. Replaced it with a nice, like, gunmetal gray color. Very nice shirt. Uh, there's a brand new in the bag Tech Fit. Player issue Germany goalie jersey. It's a size extra large. As it's a collector's item and it wouldn't fit me, I just kept it in the bag and didn't wear it. In 30 years, this will be worth a lot of money, but anyways, very rare shirt. You don't see very many of them. Adidas logo is like that thick plastic, like I was showing you before. Next shirt. This is a Another shirt from 2010. This is the 2010 home shirt. This was the uh, first time that they started encompassing like this golden crest on there. Is the years that they won the World Cup before that. 